All right, we got Coach Gavin Oldham here. It's a little bit better of a time than last week, wasn't it? A a one nil victory this time. So you guys had some chances. You made good on at least one of them, and I guess all it takes is just one, right? Yeah, I think we. You know, the last few games has been similar scoreboard, but the one in the other column and the zero in the other column. The shots have been the same, and just the, the scores have been switched. So yeah, it's good. It's good to get you know the victory and you know finally get something. Bear a little fruit, I guess, from the, the work we're putting during the week. Right. Uh, nice to see a little bit of uh, uh, aggression, right? I, I, or, or at least some confidence out of Dom there, taking the ball on the on the right or the the right side there, and being able to send it into the back of the net. Yeah, yeah, he's got a sweet left foot. Dom strikes a great ball with his left foot, and uh, you know, he, uh, during the week, you know, we practice, and you know, he strikes a great ball from 20, 25 yards. And in the last game, he was striking a few balls, but you know, this one he caught nice and flew in the top corner, and you know, two goalkeepers don't stop that one. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You mentioned it last game. You, you got to find guys that are, or you have guys that are comfortable in front of the net. I think Dom looks like he's one of those guys. Kyle Lewis looks like he might be another one. He had a couple pretty nice shots that that uh, had a real chance. Yeah, Kyle's another one. He's confident in front of goal. Um, it fell to his weaker side today, but he hit the target and made the keeper work, and that's something that we. Absolutely stressed this week was you know even if we don't score we need to make the keeper make the save right hit the target and um, you know, the boys came in and Kyle came in and when he got his chance he did well you know, once that starting position Adam started today his first game right once that starting position did a good job for us up there so yeah you know are we finished article no but are we coming together yeah for sure right. Talk a little bit about your defense back there. I think Liam just he, – he every game that goes by, he seems to be a little bit more and more comfortable, a little bit more and more in charge back there. He's getting pretty vocal. Yeah, Liam's vocal. That's him. That's just how <laughs> he is, whether you're playing or whether you're in the dressing room or probably even in the classroom. I don't know. You know. He's just a vocal kid. That's how he is, and you can hear him. And he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know You know if he's happy. You know if he's sad. You know if he wants more out of you. You know if he's happy with you. And that's just him. That's how he is. And, you know, right now he's doing great. Right. You no, know, he really is doing a good job, and long may that continue. And that's kind of what you want out of your keeper back there. You want somebody that that's that's not shy, that's not afraid of, of uh, maybe a little bit of confrontation and telling you how it is. Yeah, I think so. Keepers are a special breed, <laughs> as they say. You know, they're they're a little bit different in their own way. Uh, extravagant, intrinsic. You know, they're just a little bit different in their own way. <laughs> and Liam's no different. You know, and same with the other keepers. You know, they're no different. They're just a little different. I don't know what it is. I think it's a gene that you have or you don't have. Right. And but he's great. You know, he gets along great with all the guys, and he's a good leader from the back. Right. You know, he's been the captain for the last two games, and you know, in fairness, he's pulled off some great saves in the last two games too. And that, that's good. You know, that reverberates through the team. You know, they get confidence from the keeper, and that builds from the back to the front. And one nil, we'll take it. Yeah, and speaking of the one nil, you go on the road for a couple of weeks now. How important was it to get this win, just for the confidence of the kids, just to say, okay, we're we're, we're back to where we need to be, at least on the winning side of the ledger. Confidence for the kids. What about the coach? <laughs> coach is like, oh my word, come on, something's got to happen here. Um, you know, in, in all fairness, confidence has been pretty good, right, with the guys. Just confidence hasn't been an issue. Um, I think just. Know, the, the one goal was you know, all we was waiting for to get the ball rolling in the right direction. Now we've got a tough four-game road trip coming up: Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, against some good game, against some good teams. So you know, one win is great, but you know, you got to look at the big picture. And it, you know, one win is one win, and that's all it is. Right. You know, we move on and we play Bethel midweek, and you know they're a top 25 team. So got to enjoy this for the next hour, two hours, and then start looking at the next game and, hey, you know how we're going to take care of the next opposition. Right. So, and the guys, they're in good spirits right now. They're responding well to the last, you know, the last week of training. And I'm sure we're looking forward to a good, uh, a good road trip on Wednesday. Good. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, Jeremy.